Hi, I'm Carl McGee. I'm the University Archivist and uh, thanks again for uh, volunteering on this William Simpson's Asylum project. So what I'm hoping to do in this video is provide a little introduction to the work we'll be doing in phase two of the project. Uh, basically in phase one we focused on the patients who are recorded in the pages of the first admission register which covers patients 1 to 59, the patients who are admitted between 1836 and 1846. So for this second phase of the project, we're focusing on another volume in the collection, uh, volume number 38 in our referencing, which is the descriptive role of the inmates of William Simpson's asylum. So this volume is slightly different to the volume you've previously worked on. Um, this volume is basically acts as a kind of roll call or a, a snapshot of of the patients who are in the asylum every year from the mid 1850s onwards. So um, basically every patient who was present in the asylum on that given day in on, on that year is is uh, recorded in in the volume. Um, so you'll notice that there's there's a bit of repetition in the volume. So if a patient was still in the asylum the following year, their name will still be will be recorded again. So year on year, you will notice that patients' names tend to drop off the top of the list as they die or they leave the asylum, uh, and also new patients get added to the list as they are admitted to the asylum. Um, this volume runs right up into the 20th century, so it's one of the most detailed records we have of patients in the asylum. We're just going to focus on the first 100 patients, but there's obviously potential there to continue the project and record information about more, more of the uh, patients. So, uh, as I said, there's a lot of additional information um, in this volume that, um, that we can add to the information we've already recorded. So as well as the basic information we already have, such as the name of the patient, uh, when they were admitted and the patient number, there's new information as well. So as well as recording the parish of birth, we now also get information recording the parish the patient was last belonging to. So where the patient was living prior to being admitted to the asylum. We've also got this set of columns here, which under the heading state, number of children and services. So this provides us with information on whether the patient was married, widowed or a bachelor. Also information on the number of children, which is quite useful. And then a simple list of whether the patient was army, navy, militia, volunteer or civil. So as I've, as I've mentioned, this is a kind of uh, year on year account so there are some it does keep kind of a statistical record as well so at the top and the bottom of pages you'll get these running running numbers here so basically just ignore these for when you're recording the information um, we're just concerned with the individual patients rather than the the statistical numbers so if we move on to the next page uh, again this is the rest of the information being recorded for each each patient. Um, these columns here we're not concerned with. Again, this is statistical in information um, that doesn't really tell us any more about the individual patients. Um, it's these four columns here that we we want to record further information on. So again, these provide more information on when the patient died or whether they left or whether they were dis dismissed from, from, from the asylum. Also, which is really important, they provide information on where the patients were buried. And again, we get a lot of inquiries from people as to where patients were buried. So this is really important information to have. Um, you'll also see on, on these pages, I've added a little slip with the patient number running, running next to the information for each patient. So, um, so when you're recording the information, uh, just keep in mind that this number here is the patient number. So that refers to the patient on the database. So that's the kind of in information that we're looking at in these documents. 
If we move to the to our database itself, you'll see that I've added columns in green where we can record this new information about the patients. Um, so again, these green columns are the new columns uh, from, from the new volume. You'll also notice for a couple of them, I've created drop-down lists. So for state, we, I've created a drop-down list. So it's literally just tick the drop-down list and pick the relevant category, married, widower, or bachelor. Um, and also, obviously, if there is additional information that hasn't, hasn't already been recorded, we can add it to the other columns. So for example, trades, you may find that there is additional in information about uh, the patients that we can add to the trades column. So moving along our database, again, another drop down list here for services. And again, I've added uh, the green columns for died, were buried, left voluntarily and dis dismissed. Um, so the other thing to keep in mind, we can use the further information column if you find that there's any discrepancies in the information in this document compared to the information that we've previously recorded. Uh, if there's any, any differences in the information, just note it here in this further information column and, and, we, and then we can, we can we have a record of those differences existing and we can go, go back and check it. So this will provide us with additional information on the first 59 patients. Obviously, we don't have anything yet for patient 60 on, but so basically record all the relevant in information from this new volume for for these patients from 60 onwards. So fill in all the all the relevant columns, not just the green ones. So record their names, record their age record the year of, of entry. And again, just break it up as it is here, um, month, day and year, just for consistency. Um, and obviously also add the information in the green green columns. So as as always on, on the project, take, take your time when you're um, working through the documents, uh, try and be sure to follow the information across the line. So it relates to the right patient. Um, it, and obviously, if you have any questions or queries, just share them with the group on the Teams page. So thanks again. And uh, yeah, looking forward to what information we find out uh, in the second phase of, of the project. Thanks.